area which we must respect is our minds. You have to reset and renew your mind in order to experience the truth. In fact, if you look at the story of the prodigal son, we will recognize that one of the first things which happened along his journey back to his father, or along his recovery journey, one of the first things that the Bible says is that he came to his senses. The Bible said he came to his senses. In other words, his mind was transformed from what it was before to something new. Just as a teacher may take an active record of the students in his or her class, or just as a store manager or a store clerk may take inventory of the, the stuff that is within the warehouse, you too, you must take some time to take inventory of the things in your life. You must take some time to look at the things you are feeding your life, whether it is the books you are reading, whether it is the, the, the television shows you are watching, whether it is the people you are surrounding yourself with, what are they seeing? Are they speaking life into you? Or are they seeing things which are ultimately hindering you? Every thing that ever enters your mind will ultimately have an impact one way or another on your output or on your behavior. I'm sure many of you have heard this said before. Your impulse will determine your output. Paul said in Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Why? Then will you be able to test and approve what is God's will, His good, pleasing, and perfect will for your life. So let me break this down. If you want to know what your life's purpose is, if you want to know what God's will is for your life, you have 